and check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking out to the northeast. And yeah, we've got some shower activity going on out there and a lot of cloud cover. Winds are out of the north right now at 9 kilometers per hour. Our humidity is still elevated and will remain so in the overnight hours, although we will have partial clearing. So add frost, a chance of it in the mix as temperatures uh, drop to zero for an overnight low. We've got some single digit numbers, very cool single digits in Milk River at two degrees. And then we've got some double digit numbers a little further to the north and further to the east. Out to the west, uh, slightly milder temperatures in some areas as well, but we've still got that push down of precipitation in the form of a uh, low level trough, and that is continuing to push south. We have an area of high pressure that's giving actually clearing skies to the northern sectors, and as that clearing continues, we've got frost warnings, and it's pretty much the central third of the province that's looking at frost warnings overnight tonight. That extends into Saskatchewan, and it also extends right on the border of between Saskatchewan in Manitoba, so frost widespread. You can see in the forecaster, though, we start to see that breaking up of the shower activity as we get into tomorrow, and actually that starts overnight tonight. Therein lies the risk of the frost. And then as we get into Saturday, we are seeing uh, a sun and cloud mix is what we're expecting to see here, but redeveloping shower activity on Sunday as a little rogue low develops in southern Alberta and creates some periods of rain on Sunday. So it still is only Thursday, so that could change between now and then, but we're keeping an eye on that. Four degrees in St. John's right now. Now, but then as you get a little further west, look at these temperatures for southern Quebec, southern Ontario, in through the Ottawa Valley. Beautiful day today. Uh, if you saw shots uh, on the new newscast, they were talking about uh, lots of people walking around in shorts and T-shirts and complaining about the heat in some areas. 13 degrees in Winnipeg, 3 and 13 in Regina and Saskatoon. Quite a temperature uh, differentiation there. And then you've got sunshine on the coast in Vancouver, sunshine in Whitehorse, sunshine in Yellow Life. Look, look at those temperatures up there and that is because of an area of high pressure to the north and a low pressure center off the coast of BC uh, kind of funneling that warmer air up there. But that low pressure center off the coast of BC is what looks like it's going to slide into southern Alberta on Sunday and create some periods of rain. East Kootenai looking at that chance of showers tonight. Four degrees for a low, 13 for a high. Tomorrow winds will be out of the southwest. Nice sun and cloud mix for you tomorrow. Crow's Nest Pass looking at periods of rain mixed with snow in the higher elevations tonight in your area. Two degrees for a low. Cloudy tomorrow with a chance of showers 10 degrees for a daytime high in Medicine Hat partly cloudy with a chance of showers tonight 2 degrees for a low 15 degrees tomorrow mainly sunny a little heavy on the cloud cover at times and Lethbridge we're looking at that chance of showers tonight risk of frost when we hit zero and then tomorrow sun and cloud mix chance of a shower east winds at 20 kilometers per hour 14 for a high and there is your five day forecast and we're looking at Saturday at uh, 13 degrees Cool down on Sunday as that low pressure center settles into southern Alberta, bringing us precipitation and cooler values. And then we warm up as we start the work week and uh, things perk up a little bit. Now, Dory's story. Check out an event that's going to be happening that raises funds for dog guides. From the moment a new dog guide arrives at the airport, the level of anticipation and excitement spikes. It means that someone who needs help, in some capacity, is getting a loyal helper. The annual walk helps raise funds to keep the program running. This is the Walk for Dog Guides, Purina Walk for Dog Guides, and it's our 11th annual. And uh, the first walk we made $8,500, and last year we made $50,700. The dogs for all of us that got a service dog are free, and this is how we pay for the dogs. It just changes your life and uh, doesn't matter what kind of a dog. We have two autism dogs in Coaldale and what they've done for those families, it's immeasurable. And of course we got three special skills dogs in South Alberta, five guide dogs. We're now at 11 service dogs in South Alberta. And with the support of the Green Acres Animal Hospital, hopes are high for a very successful fundraiser walk. And it's a great group. Uh, Bill and his group spend a lot of time on this event each year, and that was evident last year when we supported it. And then there was uh, there was some things that we could bring to the table in terms of organization and sponsorship and some things. So it's uh, it's more about what we can do for them than than what they can do for us. Quite frankly, it's it's a great organization. We we looked into fostering some puppies and a few things, and we're just we're trying to get more and more involved with the organization. It's we think it's just a great cause. For some people, like Susan. Their support for the program has been ongoing for several years. And then last year, I tried and promoted it at the vet clinic where I work, and they jumped right on board. So this year, um, Brent has come on board as well, and, and the clinic has decided to sponsor the, the walk. 
them out on June 2nd to support a great cause and meet some great people. Dory's Story, sponsored by Langenberg Optical, voted best of the best for 2012.